Ferrari is the magic car. It's red. Red is always speed, it's blood, it's love. If you put a, a red car in front cover of a magazine or a newspaper, you sell more. Everybody likes Ferrari a little bit. I mean, there is nobody who doesn't like Ferrari a little bit. There are basically two ways of capturing speed for a moving object in a Formula One car. One is to use a high shutter speed of five hundredths of a second or a thousandth of a second and freeze the action. Another one is to use a slow shutter speed, uh, which means something between a thirtieth, a fifteenth, or an eighth of a second. I mean, for instance, the picture I took in Monaco this year during the Grand Prix, I mean, you've got really wet conditions for starters. The car is very small in the frame, but you shoot at a very slow shutter speed, and it just blurs the background out, where you get all the boats and all the people, and the car is pin sharp in the middle. Everybody knows I do a zoom photography to show the speed and the fascination of colors. He's the tack. I believe the darker picture is our typical Japanese way to the Japanese style. Ferrari Red, Ferrari Red is a near shadow. I like very, very high contrast. Ferrari itself is already artistic thing. If I take picture like this only one time, already art. My favorite shots are in Monte Carlo basically because of the, the, the background. This is Monte Carlo here, you can see. This is the most prestigious Grand Prix of all the season, I think. So you can be there, you have a good shot, you can be there. Schumacher is the best in the rain in Monaco. The shot looking down on Monte Carlo from up above is one of, one of my favorites. And I like to stay there, the pits are over there where the bar is, uh, so I can take the pictures of Ferrari coming, you know, with the red car. Very nice. Here I've got a fisheye lens, which is the widest lens. It's a 15 millimeter, so it acts like a fisheye lens. It's curved. Formula One is a speed sport and pictures also are speed sport. Built-in computer in there and I take the picture and push the button here and take my pictures out from the camera. It's a hard disk. I put this into my computer and send them on the telephone lines wherever in the world. Very useful at the start. Two and a half seconds, film's gone. With our long lenses, we're able to really get into their helmets and into their eyes and uh, perceive what they uh, feel. Schumacher is a very acting person. This is very good, you know. He knows to move, he knows to talk, he knows a, a lot about the business, he's very professional. He is such a um, strong, uh, willful type of person. And at the same time, he has such a good control over his nerves. Eddie Irvine's great. You know, I've known him since he started his career where some of the drivers like to hide away all the time. Eddie's always there chatting with journalists or colleagues. How do you say it in English? When? 
He's yawning all the time. I like his atmosphere. Very nice. And this picture's proved very popular in uh, a lot of magazines. I've actually managed to get myself in there as well. <laughs> Welcome to Monza, my home, the Speed Temple. This is the start position, the podium, the grid for the pole position, the pit. And this is the grandstand for many, many fans, many, many tifosi. This is the photographer stand. Here I take the picture of Schumacher in triumph. Uh, Ferrari had uh, uh, many uh, enthusiasts, yeah? I am enthusiast too. It symbolizes really uh, Ferrari people and the passion of Ferrari. If you're walking down the track, say, and that they start shouting out, Voto, Voto. I always like looking at nice girls anyway. This one happened to, uh, to have some Ferrari as well. Many other photographers, you know, just shoot the girl, maybe full lens on, they just went tighter, and I think the impact of the picture was stronger. And there's the great Tifosi all over the world, not only in Italy, Hungary, here we go. And it's also good fun to do. One of the best parts is when you get your pictures. And if you happen to have really succeeded, also you go, wow, this is fantastic. You, know, you feel such a, a rush of adrenaline. But you know, it doesn't last, of course. Then you're on to the next one, because that's the most interesting. It's your, your next picture. And sometimes I put the camera during lace, and then watch the lace, maybe one or two up, and uh, without the yeah, approach. <laughs> without his sound, it's good. You can normally fill the frame with one of these. Taking pictures of Ferrari is my hobby. Now, my hobby is my job. The best job in the world. <laughs>